Hey there, it's Kimberly Luft, and today I want to talk a little bit about how to clear money blocks. And so if you're human, you probably had thoughts, ideas, or beliefs about money and maybe energetics around money that don't really serve you. And so if that's the case, this is really going to help. And first off, I want to say that money itself is a neutral thing. It's something that is a beautiful way to give and receive energy between human beings. And it's not something I think that is innately or inherently bad. It's something that I believe is neutral and it kind of matches the energy with which it is used. But if you are like me, you've had thoughts either presently or in the past that just don't feel quite true or good in the body. And what we're going to do today is really look into how those thoughts and beliefs can change around money, but not just the thoughts and beliefs, but also the energy around money. Because really what money blocks tend to be are these kind of energetic obstructions sometimes in the body around receiving, around giving. Maybe it keeps you in a state of lack or scarcity or that feeling of, oh my God, am I gonna be okay? Am I growing my money enough? Am I saving enough? Am I making enough? A lot of us have had these types of experiences and it's not something to feel upset about or ashamed about, it's something to work through. And so today we're gonna to cover three of the main money blocks that I see in both my clients and just in my own personal experience as well. And we're gonna start with money block number one. Money block number one has to do with receiving money. So let's say you're in business and you have an offer and you get excited about the offer. You think that the offer is so amazing. You wanna serve these clients, you wanna serve these people. But ultimately when it comes to asking for the sale or maybe even saying the price out loud, maybe you choke up a little bit. I've seen this so often and it's something that is so common that I don't want you to feel like you're alone in this if that is you. But ultimately I want you to notice where in the body you feel that and where it's like, oh my God, I can't say the price out loud or oh my God, I can't ask for the sale and a lot of times I notice that it's in the throat area and so maybe while I'm talking you can even put a finger or maybe a hand on that area and just kind of sink into the sensations just notice what's there because a lot of what happens when we are blocking the receiving of money is that we feel like we're not deserving enough or worthy enough or good enough to receive it and I'm here to tell you that that's probably not true. Even if it feels true right now, those are definitely things that I, I want you to work through in this video and also in your own life. I'm like, let's question those beliefs and let's see what could be even more true. And so something that I like to implement when I see that somebody's kind of blocking the receiving of money is like, hey, like, you know, what if somebody really needed that service and just really, really wanted it from you? What if they asked you? Hey, how much does it cost? Like, can I pay you now? What would be your reaction to that? If it still feels like, oh my God, no, 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 then there's some work to do, right? And that's not something to shove under the rug. It's not something to ignore, but it is something to say, okay, what part of me feels like I can't receive this money right now? Like where in my body do I feel that? And when you have that sense and when you have that kind of intel from the body, then we get to see, okay, how intense is this on a scale of one to 10? And when I really think about it and drop into the body and somatically feel this, is there a way for me to move through that emotion and move through those sensations? Even if I'm scared, even if I'm anxious, even if I'm uncomfortable, is there a way for me to move through that and ask for the sale anyways? Is there a way for me to open up about the pricing of my packages? Is there a way for me to say it out loud, even if it's to a close friend, just to start to move through the block? right and a lot of times it's not really a block necessarily physically it's just kind of like maybe we want the the offer to feel perfect and honestly it's never going to feel perfect enough there's of course room to improve always but really allowing yourself to question this idea of perfect and would you rather have the money in your bank account or have it be perfect and no money in the bank account so when it comes to this money block I want you to really think about, okay, am I able to move through these emotions? Am I able to move through these sensations? And then what's on the other side of that? What's the benefit of receiving this money? First of all, when somebody pays me for one-on-one -on -one or energy healing or group coaching, whatever it is, I feel like there's this just, whoa, there's this investment of their time, their energy, their money, and they're way more likely to be so all in with what I'm teaching and what I'm delivering to them. It's definitely something that benefits them 
at the end of the day and me as well right this it's this mutual benefit situation where i'm giving all i've got and i'm giving everything i have so that somebody can succeed and flourish and they're also investing enough so that they definitely can say yes a promise to the self i'm going to implement and something in my personal experience that i feel like is really great is that when i've invested a certain amount of money towards a course or a program or a coaching you know experience is i feel like whoa i am here i am ready I want to go all in. I feel like so excited and energetic about it. It's like saying to the universe, wow, I'm here, I'm in, I am so committed. And so receiving money is almost as if you were giving somebody else that opportunity to say yes to themselves. And when you receive the money, you're more able to continue to do that work and maybe even provide free content like what I'm doing here. It's like, I wouldn't just be posting on YouTube every single day if I didn't also have like a an income generating arm in my business, right? Like there's something so beautiful about being able to receive money to then give back. And so that brings us to money block number two, which is around giving money. And so I've encountered plenty of people in my life that I feel like, oh, they're a little stingy or maybe they like hold their money a little too close and they don't feel very generous and so if you feel like that's something that you as well are experiencing in your own life whether you're the the person not feeling very generous or you have somebody in your life that you're like oh they're just a little they're just a little clutchy clutchy with their money this is something that i feel like can block even the receiving of money because when you think about it it's almost like a heartbeat right your heart pumps blood out and then it also kind of returns back to the heart that's kind of how the body works it recycles a lot of the same stuff and that cycle of giving and receiving is very healthy to be in it's something that again make your financial decisions wisely i'm not saying to throw money at everyone and everything but at the same time, it's like, okay, if you feel yourself like blocking yourself from spending on something that feels like expansive to you or exciting to you, or feels like, wow, it can bring so much lightness into your life, then there's something there to work with. Again, same with the, the money block number one. If you feel it anywhere in your body, maybe your chest or somewhere else, just notice that, maybe place a hand there while I'm speaking. So let's say you're good on the receiving money. You've got a lot of money saved and you feel like you're good financially. You are really great at receiving, but maybe not so great at giving money in return and finding these ways to kind of keep the cycle going and keep that channel open. And giving and receiving is really one and the same. I think one can expand the other. Like when you receive money, you have more to give. And when you give money, you tend to kind of receive more as well. I don't know, that's how it's worked at least in my own life. And there's like this energetic channel that I like to keep open of like, okay, give to the causes I support in or the programs that I wanna invest in or the things that I believe in. Then I really see that reflected in the amount of money that I receive as well. It's kind of this like give and receive energetic dynamic that the universe really likes to play with. And I want you to just notice where in the body you feel like, oh, I can't give or overspend, I can't like, be overly generous or maybe you feel even like you're a little bit stingy i want you to notice somatically what that's looking like in your body and just notice hey like okay it's okay like maybe we learn this from somebody or maybe we feel like we just have to clutch and hold on to as much money as possible and i'm not saying not to do that I'm not saying to invest in everything and everyone i'm just saying hey maybe there's a little more space to open up here. And so I want you to ask yourself, what feels like something I want to contribute to? What feels like something I want to give to? What feels like something I want to invest in? And if those things come back as, yes, this feels exciting, this feels expansive, this feels light in my body and I really want to invest, sometimes that is the somatic signal to do it. I know that we can second guess a lot of things like, is this a responsible choice or is this the right decision? But really giving money is something that just is part of the cycle. It's part of this cycle of giving and receiving energy that we see in a lot of different things too. Like in relationships, you're not just receiving love, you're giving love too. And that's how I believe money can become a really healthy thing in our lives that we have this kind of channel that's open and that there's this play between the giving and the receiving that feels really expansive for all of us yeah and so if you feel like you want to open into that a little bit more great because this next money block will be the next step and so money block number three is expanding money and so sometimes to grow our money we have to invest in things that feel a little bit risky i'm going to give you some examples 
to start a business or to grow a business, sometimes you do need the guide or coach or mentor to help you get to the next level. Sometimes to grow money in the stock market, it means you take a little bit of a risk because we never know what the markets are gonna do. But over time, you're like, oh wow, there's like $50,000 that I made off the initial investment that I made, right? Like this is like how a lot of the growth money tactics work and expanding money can feel really exciting and liberating and also a little scary and so i really just want to honor that for anyone who's watching this it's like okay maybe you don't have the money to invest in whatever program you want to invest in or maybe you don't have the money to invest in the stock market but part of you is like maybe there is a way maybe there is a way to figure it out maybe there's a way to expand into it even before i have the cash or the capital right now and so even if it's just an energetic expansion right of like expanding into maybe the money that you want to make or expanding into the idea of investing money or expanding into the idea of signing up for a program that feels really high ticket for you and so it doesn't mean that you're just you know, investing money here, investing money there, sometimes the expansion of money actually starts energetically. And so I want you to maybe roll their shoulders back a little bit and open up to that in the chest area because this area right here, the heart chakra is really about the giving and the receiving and the expansion. And not just in the realm of money, but also in the realm of other areas of your life. And so maybe opening up the shoulders and opening up the chest area and noticing how it feels to expand the body and then we're gonna start to energetically expand money and so thinking of whatever you have in your bank account right now and seeing what happens when you times it by 10 how does that feel in your body to expand that money and then times it by 10 again how does that feel how would it feel to have that amount in your bank account right? Then one more time, expand and multiply by 10. So we just added three zeros to whatever you've got in your bank account. And that honestly is an energetic expansion of money. It's where we all can start if we don't have the capital to invest in the things that we know can grow and expand our money and our business. That energetic expansion is where we can begin. And so I really hope that this helps. And if you want to clear away money blocks and step into an abundant coaching practice, then you'll really love my masterclass, Abundant Coach. It's free. All you gotta do is put in your name and your email and the link is down below. It's all about how to grow your financial abundance, your creative abundance, your time abundance, and all of those beautiful things that go into running a business. And so if you want to join me on the inside, click down below and sign up and I can't wait to see you there. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video and ciao for now. Bye.